Hi everyone, welcome back to another best practice video for first grade. I am Diana Simon and we're going to take a look at what one could expect to see and hear in a first grade mathematics classroom for this unit. Take a look at this comic. What memories of math does it bring to your mind? Many of us can relate to memorizing lots of facts and algorithms in elementary school only to find we didn't understand how to apply them in more difficult problem-solving situations or in the real world. In this unit, we will be exposing our first graders to addition and subtraction strategies and guiding them to choose strategies that are most efficient for them to solve problems. The first grade unit on addition and subtraction strategies will include the following learning goals. Gaining fluency of basic fact strategies to addition and subtraction problems, and this will be within 20. These strategies include making 10, doubles, counting on, and counting back. Understanding that the equal sign represents the phrase, the same as. Solving for unknown terms in various positions of the addition and subtraction number sentence. Other learning goals for this unit include understanding how the properties of addition work to make adding easier, and finally, determining and explaining if equations involving addition or subtraction are true or false. So what should we see happening during this unit in our first grade classrooms? Here, we see some clips from our new resource, STEM Scopes. In these Explore lessons, notice that our students are working with concrete objects like a wreck and wreck, counting cubes, and a balance. Students will be moving through the concrete, representational, and abstract approach as they work with multiple addition and subtraction strategies. Our goal is to support them in choosing an efficient strategy for problem solving. These Explore lessons from STEM Scopes allows our students to demonstrate mathematical thinking and reasoning standards, also known as our MTRs, one, two, five, and seven. What does student learning sound like in our classroom? The types of questions we ask will help facilitate our students' discussions and allow them to reflect on their learning and the learning of others. Here are some examples of some questions that could be asked during this unit. These questions and more like them can be found in the math chat sections of every Explore lesson found in STEM Scopes. STEM Scopes Explore lessons and classroom discussions allow for the use of content rich vocabulary. Here is a list of some of the vocabulary we should hear our students using as they explain their thinking in this unit. This list can also be found on the parent letter within STEM scopes. How will our students be demonstrating their knowledge? During this unit or scope as it's known in STEM scopes, we should be providing many opportunities for our students to demonstrate their understanding of the benchmarks. STEM scopes provides activities like journal entries, exit tickets, show what you know activities, and fluency games that allow our students to demonstrate their understanding of the benchmarks. This also gives the teacher the opportunity to informally assess the student's knowledge. As we visit classrooms, we may want to ask students questions to better gauge their understanding of the content. Here you see a couple of questions that we could ask our students. I could ask students to prove that six plus five is the same as seven plus four. A good response from a student could be something like, well, I know that six plus five equals 11 and seven plus four equals 11. They both are the same, so the equation is balanced. I could also ask, when you add numbers, do the order of the numbers matter? Here we would want our students to demonstrate their understanding of the commutative property and that four plus eight is the same as eight plus four. 
Students don't need to know the name of the properties, they just need to understand how they work. I could also ask the question, what strategy did you use to determine the unknown? Here, we're hoping that the students will give us a strategy such as a doubles fact. So maybe for the equation 5 plus 6 equals 11, the student would be able to explain to us that they knew 5 plus 5 equaled 10, 6 is 1 more than 5, so if they do 10 plus 1, the answer would be 11. If students want to continue their learning at home, engaging activities can be found on the parent letter for each unit or scope in STEM scopes. The parent letter has a tic-tac-toe board full of engaging activities that can be easily done at home to reinforce the learning that's being done in the classroom. Here you see a math game that involves four dice, two dice of each color. Each person rolls their two dice and the student gives the sum on the dice. Then the student determines if the sum on the dice is equal or not. You could enrich this activity by having the students write down their number sentence to go along with that round. So let's think back to the comic at the beginning of our time together. Through exploration, our students will have a better understanding of the problem solving we are having them do in the mathematics classroom. This will allow them the ability to apply the concepts taught in early grades to harder concepts later and the real world math that they will see throughout their lifetime. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you next time.